Hi and welcome to Valheim Tips and Tricks. In this video, I'm going to show you the best ways to get unlimited coals. All throughout the game, you will be in constant need to grind for coals for smelting metals and among other things. So, having an unlimited source of coal will be a great thing to have so that you don't have to grind that much just to keep up with its high demands. This process will also give you certain cores for your furnaces and portals and certain trophies for infinite light source and decorations. So, if you think this guide would be of use to you, sit back, enjoy, and don't forget to subscribe and like the video so that we can share it to those who might need this updated guide. In this process, the first thing that you need to find is a fire geyser, also known as the circling spawner. You can only find these geysers in the swamp biome and it spawns three circlings every five minutes. The most important thing that you need to remember though is to make sure that it's not within the radius of any of your crafting benches as this will prevent the circlings from spawning. To optimize your farming potential in one location, you can try looking for geysers adjacent to each other. So that, all you need to do is to make a treehouse outpost near the geysers and keep farming while you are AFK. Avoid digging too deep that you will end up swimming. You can just make it knee level deep in a way that you can easily sprint around to loot the drops. Take note that these fire geysers don't spawn certlings if the area is not rendered by a player. So you need to be in the area in order for the geysers to keep spawning every 5 minutes. So building an outpost in one of the invulnerable trees in the swamp would be the best way to go. The invulnerable trees are bigger than the ancient trees and when you hit them with an axe or a weapon, it's not physical and it doesn't get any damage. And since this tree is considered as foundation, you should not have any issues with stability while building up your treehouse. Once you have a treehouse outpost, you will be safe from any ground attacks or events. There is only one aerial event that you need to worry about, and this is only triggered if you haven't defeated Modder yet. If that happens, just make sure to go away from the treehouse outpost before you fight them off. Also, Wraiths cannot attack you if you are in the midsection of the treehouse. In my builds, I usually look for multiple fire geysers nearby to farm coals more efficiently.
At the same time, I also create a network of outposts connecting my main coal farm to single and remote fire geysers. So, I set up a series of portals to render and activate the spawners and that outpost connects to another outpost that connects to another outpost and it connects to another outpost until it loops back to my main coal farm. This way, at least you are doing something and getting more coals and resources rather than sitting in a single outpost waiting for the next 5 minutes. The next process is only applicable if you have already located Haldor, the merchant in the game, so that you can buy a Thunderstone from him for 50 gold coins. By doing so, you can already unlock and craft the Obliterator and use it to convert all the materials you don't need into coal. Especially if you also have a Grey Dwarf farm, you will get a lot of surplus of materials like Ancient Seeds, Dandelions, and Grey Dwarf Trophies. If you don't need them anymore, put them in the obliterator and turn them into coal. It's so much better that way than throwing them away like we have been doing before the obliterator was made available. Here are the conversion rates for the materials to coal. One coal per trophy, including boss trophies. One coal per five ancient barks, core wood, fine wood, or wood. 1 coal per 20 arrows, and 1 coal per 10 of any other items in Valheim. You should be getting a lot of trophies from both Circling and Grey Dwarf farms, so this would help you a lot in your coal supply. If you want to see an in-depth guide on the updated way of farming Grey Dwarves, you can check the description below or you can click on the pop-up notification on this video. And that is it for this guide, you guys, and I hope you find this helpful. If I miss something, please let me know in the comment below. You can also leave a comment for requests of guides and walkthroughs that you want us to cover or any recommendations on how we can make our content better in our future videos. And as always, thank you so much for watching and bye for now, you guys.